Let's all laugh at the sugars. Part seventeen. Yes, these quarter wits have provided me with sufficient material to now get us up to a part seventeen, where we take screenshots of their various comments on my excellent YouTube channel, and we have a good old laugh. If you're feeling a bit low, now is your opportunity to cast off the cobwebs of misery and chortle yourself into happiness. You may want to ensure that your teeth are affixed, that you're not eating anything, and nor are you drinking anything, as otherwise you could choke or spit your beverage of choice over your screen or phone. You may wish to ensure that your incontinence pants are on, because you're likely to piss yourselves at the ridiculous of these absolute moronic clowns. You may also wish, as a sideline, to engage in a little mini-game of bullshit bingo as we laugh at the sugars. See if you can spot the following. Accusations of me or people con who criticise Harry's wife as being racists. See if the word obsessed pops up. See if there is the confirmation that we don't know them. See if Yal is used at some point. Find out whether her name is misspelled. Also, perhaps Mrs. Dimples will appear through one of her or through one of her many aliases. And also, will you spot Mrs. Dimples perhaps talking to herself through one of her aliases? See if you can spot some of those for an impromptu mini game of bullshit bingo. Now, let's get down to business and laugh at the sugars. Straight out of the gate, it's Tina T, or is it? At Anne Cam, at the end of the day, the only one Prince Harry and Harry's wife have to answer to, including how they treated their elderly family members, is God. Mm, playing the God card. The self-righteous is you. Imperfect themselves, you. Racist. <coughs> toxic online vultures are not God. Haven't we seen that phraseology before? Yes, we have. Of course, it's grandma is best or whatever she's called and God is love and Mrs. Dimples and all of the other pseudonyms that this clown uses. But there's a good follow-up here. Get the point, cupcake. P.S. Registered nurses are heroes, especially during COVID. Thank you, Mrs. Dimples, for being a registered nurse. Wow. Straight out of the gate there, we slam down on the bullshit bingo with a allegation of racism. That it's Mrs. Dimples, and she's talking to herself. Cat Puss, when was the last time you saw live photos of Harry's wife? Eight months ago. The belly-crawling gutter press are making fools of all the hyenas, showing them daily bait, which has the slavering mutts baying for Harry's wife's blood. You should be ashamed of yourselves. You are sad excuses for human beings. The devil's disciples. Get over the fact that Harry and Harry's wife are happy, except they're not, free, except they're not, and so much in love, except they're not. They use all their spare time... <coughs> <laughs> oh, helping those who are less fortunate, do they? Fuck you, deluded knobhead. They've got lots of spare time. That I'll grant you. After all, Archwell, one hour a week. And of course, ringing the paparazzi doesn't take too long. Similarly, dressing like you got dressed in the dark doesn't take a lot of time either. So I'll agree with you, cat puss. They have plenty of spare time. But helping those who are less fortunate? Uh -uh and have raised the profile of wounded soldiers to a pinnacle never before known. Hmm, I think there'd be a lot of people who disagree with that. Help for heroes being one. My dad never received any recognition for what he suffered in World War II. God bless Harry, and give him and his wife more and more success, and make every arrow aimed at them return to the sender tenfold. Hmm, nothing like hashtag be kind, is there, with these individuals that slate everybody else for their criticism of Harry's wife, but then go around saying, you should be ashamed of yourselves, and making every arrow return tenfold. Now, it's Penny Louise. Ew, your obsession with M.M. is really sick. Ah, allegation of obsession ticked. Of course, 
It isn't an obsession. It's quite simply the case that a woman who simply will not fuck off results in so much coverage of her because she's such a brilliant example of narcissism in action. Give it a break. Most MM critics post three videos per week. So? Neil Sean, three times ridiculously vague ones per day. Go tell Mr. Sean that. You, four to five lengthy, repetitive and sick videos per day. Sometimes I do more than five, actually. And indeed, many of my videos are nothing to do with Harry's wife. But you wouldn't recognise that, would you, Penny? Because as a thicko, you don't actually go and look at the evidence. Nor are they repetitive. They focus on different aspects of narcissism and in relation to Harry's wife. How are they sick? You and Neil Sean are mad in the head. No, we're not. We're completely rational individuals. As unpleasant as M.M. is, she has at least... She at least has a life. With you, M.M. is your life. Well, no. Again, Penny, you're pouring judgment on somebody that you don't know. For instance, I rose at 5 a.m. this morning, and I engaged in some exercise, doing some weights, and getting on my new cycling machine that I have, with its excellent screen, so that I can take a tour around a particular part of the world. I then showered, went through my usual regime of making sure that I'm clean and smelling fragrant, and then enjoyed my breakfast, which was a mix of berries today. Blueberries, strawberries, and raspberries with a dollop of yo yoghurt on the top. I then have made arrangements to ensure that after this, I'll be making my way to go and watch my football team, Manchester City, at Wembley in the FA Cup final against Manchester United. So amongst all of that, there'll be a handful of videos that have been created, some of which will be in relation to Harry's wife, and then she won't cross my mind at all either before me creating these videos or after. I'll invariably be looking at celebrating a victory for Manchester City, so then I'll be getting on the lash, quaffing the dirts and chugging the beers. Meanwhile, you, Penny Louise, well, you'll be busy bothering yourself thinking that Neil Sean is mad in the head and no doubt continuing your membership of Weight Watchers that you've been a member of for 12 years and in that time, you've actually gained 14 pounds. We're joined by Mark Simpson. This YouTuber seems to have a problem with Harry's wife. Is it because he fears his unearned privilege? Hmm. As a white middle class white as a middle class white male in the United Kingdom is under threat? Well, first of all, the privileges that I have have been very much earned. I worked hard at school. Gained my examination results, gained my excellent degree result and postgraduate outcome. Nobody did that for me, Mr. Simpson. I did it myself. I've worked all of my life in various different ways. I've created opportunities. I've secured sufficient money that I am able to invest it. I've created a fantastic platform that explains narcissism to people. The privileges that I enjoy, I've earned. So for you to suggest that they're unearned makes you a tosser. The fact that I'm middle class and white, which you don't actually know whether I am or not, but let us assume that I am, is neither here nor there. And if I am those things, how is it under threat? They're not. Grow up and get a life, man. Oh, believe me, Mark, I'm particularly grown up, and I quite readily enjoy sitting down with you and shredding you with my intellect to demonstrate that your assertion's incorrect, or if you'd like to put some boxing gloves on and get in the ring, we can do that, and I'll knock your teeth out of your mouth. Constant Haynes, you Neanderthal are a joke. I don't think Neanderthals are a laughing matter at all, Constance. You hybrids. Oh, right, so first of all, we're all Neanderthals, but now we're hybrids. Are on a level of hatred and stupidity I haven't seen since the civil rights movement. You fools are pissed off because the Sussex represents the fall of Adam and Eve descendants. Right, if you say so. You create these bullshit statements to generate energy. Well, they're not bullshit statements. They're generated to inform people. You're, misspelt, afraid that who and what you are is being exposed. No. Cesspool England is dead on arrival. Last time I checked, England was flourishing. America is falling too. 
No, it's not. You racist hybrids' arms are too weak and short to box with carbon-66 melanin, the natural original beings. Okay. I think you're losing it here, Constance, and use of emojis, to the extent that you do, is somewhat concerning for you. Carbon melanin is what chlorophyll is to plants. Okay, so what you're now doing is likening yourself to a plant, which probably makes sense for the fact that what you write is on a par with somebody in a vegetative state. Only fools believe Adam and Eve's descendants are indigenous to this planet. Oh, I see. They came from the planet Zog, did they? QE, Vatican hybrids, fake cosmic invaders. You all live in glass houses and throw stole. I don't live in a glass house, and uh, I have never thrown a stole in my life. Guess what? Wormwood is here. It's weakening the magnetic shield. Is it? Oh, we'd better all run and hide then, allowing radiation, plasma, and vibrations to increase. I think the only vibrations that are increasing around you, Constance, are when you're getting your electric shock therapy and your teeth are jiggling in your mouth. Hence COVID, Karen's self-destruction of Adam and Eve descendants. You all can't hide your Natandial Denisovan DA. DNA, Age of Aquarius, and New Chaos. Their kids is a big reason why you should always wear sun cream and not take drugs. Junior Monroe, why are you so obsessed with Harry's wife? I'm not. Nobody gonna do shit. So talk somebody else, Mr. Psychopath. You should be happy for her. She's on your team, stupid. Well, to the point, and she's not on my team because she's not a psychopath. Kimberly Hall, you are a jerk, and I feel sorry for you when Jesus comes because your butt is going straight into the lake of fire. You ate an empty shell and full of evil. When did I eat an empty shell? Do you mean one of those when you used to go to the ice cream van and you'd get a shell with ice cream in? Is that what you mean? That is disappointing, Kimberly. I'll have to agree with you there that if you get one of those shells and it was empty with no creamy ice cream inside, that would be disappointing. As for my butt going straight into a lake of fire, no, it won't. But you can keep on imagining that, if you will, if it makes you feel any better. L. Scott, I report this channel daily. Well done. It's clearly having a great effect, isn't it? And I heard you'll be added to the list of internet trolls they plan on suing. Ooh, I'm scared. You're, misspelt as usual, a disgusting human being. I'm not, actually. I'm good-looking, clean, well-regarded, intelligent, magnetic, urbane, charming... None of that's disgusting. And I pray your days are short. They're not, actually. It's June, and where I am on the planet, it doesn't, it's not going dark until gone 11, and then getting light around about 4am, so my days are lovely and long. But thanks again for the vitriol. All of you racist warmongers won't make it to next year after reading my comment. Hashtag cursed. Ooh, <laughs> edgelord. Such power that you wield through a comment that somehow we're now all cursed for having read it. I suspect that you'd better attend your appointment at the Lunatic Asylum. I also ought to have included in the mini-game of Bullshit Bingo that we would get a comment from Sanju, who regularly masturbates over the Duchess of Sussex, no doubt lying there looking at a picture of her on his phone or perhaps a copy of Hello as he's there going, oh, 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 Harry's wife and then busting a nut within a few seconds. We can see that the poor little deer has the one tear left eye go as his avatar. What about adulterer mistress Camilla Parker Bowles? Lacey, useless Kate Middleton and other white royal wives are also gold diggers, social climbers and others in which you never accuse these white royal wives, racist, fascist, H.G. Tudor. Good old Sanju demonstrating that another sugar is a complete racist. Yes, well done indeed. Calls me a racist fascist, yet you've not heard one racist comment be ever uttered from my mouth. But you, Sanju, you little worm that you are, who I would quite readily stamp on your track here until it bubbles, throw out these accusations, exhibiting once again the behaviour of the sugars, whereby you claim to be full of kindness and empathy, and your actual behaviour show that you're not. H.G. Tudor, you just only single out only mixed race biracial Duchess of Sussex, Harry's wife, because you're racist, H.G. Tudor. Hmm. 
So when I've singled out Donald Trump, does that make me racist? Or when I've singled out Joe Biden, does that make me racist? Or when I singled out Alec Baldwin, was that because I was being racist? Or Taylor Swift, was that because I was being racist? Or Amber Heard, is that because I'm being racist? Or James Corden, asshole, was that because I'm racist? Hmm? Well, Sanju, you seem rather quiet. The fact is, you're an idiot. And a racist idiot at that. L. Scott is back. You racist whites are worldwide bullies, always targeting women of colour. God, hopefully, will rid the earth of you all. Well, you know what I say about hope, L. She is a false mistress, and it's equally applicable to you. But you're back again. Who would want to attend that ridiculous over-the-top clown circus you call a coronation? You racist Brits, incorrect use of apostrophe, days are numbered on the world stage. Disgusting entitled racist whites will soon be no more. Hashtag bye-bye. It's you that's the racist, L, as you've repeatedly shown through your comments. Then we have Catherine Dana. H.G. Tudor. Clown equals one sexist, mask of some sort, ageist, racist. She looks finer than you, sour milk, a.k.a. poo face. Many female narcs clown with internalised misogyny. Well, if any of you can fathom out what the fuck Catherine is on about, then answers on a postcard if you're old school, or answers by email. And the best answer will win a prize. But I'd urge you not really to dedicate any time whatsoever to trying to unravel the slops of this idiot's mind. Next up, we have Sophia Hassan. You are a real racist. Ah, now I'm a real racist. Yet again, another buzzword used. Um, but I'm a real racist as opposed to being a pretend racist, it would seem. Vile and evil. Well... Looking at your picture, Sophia, if anybody looks vile and evil, I think it might be you. Medway Hospital protest. Absolute horse shit. I really don't see that anyone has enough evidence one way or another to make out that Harry's wife is a narcissist. <laughs> Dumb fuck comment of the day. No, make that the week. No, make it the year. To suggest that there isn't enough evidence one way or the other to ascertain that Harry's wife is a narcissist... I suspect you need to be in the Medway Hospital rather than protesting. All I can see is pure misogyny and the use of a woman as a chew toy for the public, in much the same way as Yoko Ono, Amber Heard, Wallace Simpson. Mmm, who do you think all of those women were, Medway Hospital protest? Hmm? And countless others have been used before. At least the South Park thing is funny, but I guess you are getting clicks and subs out of it. Your channel has turned into Lazy Harry's Wife's videos, struggling for content, perhaps. Struggling for content, perhaps, declares Medway Hospital protest, which, of course, is somewhat laughable. After all, you'll be hearing more of Tea with Sam and G, another Teas with Sam and HG, another episode of a detailed discussion, which has nothing to do with Harry's wife. That I explained only recently what makes a narcissist, nothing to do with Harry's wife. I explain derailed when you move on. How does the narcissist feel? Nothing to do with Harry's wife. There's already been six parts examining Philip Schofield. Nothing to do with Harry's wife. There's a question and answer set up, which is nothing to do with Harry's wife. That there's going to be video a video about Jose Mourinho, which is nothing to do with Harry's wife. I gave you an example of an unholy narcissist only a few days ago. Nothing to do with Harry's wife. I explained about the narcissist and grief. Nothing to do with Harry's wife. The other day I t told you about the stalking influencer with regard to the Chelsea players. It's nothing to do with Harry's wife. I've explained to you about the way that five major wounds have been imposed upon the narcissist, which is nothing to do with Harry's wife. I've updated you about what James Corden, arsehole, has been up to. Nothing to do with Harry's wife. There was a recent interview with Marla Martinson, which was nothing to do with Harry's wife. There was a series about Tina Turner as the victim of, or a survivor of, narcissistic abuse, which was nothing to do with Harry's wife. I explained about how narcissists were involved in left-wing extremism, which was nothing to do with Harry's wife. 
All of those, nothing to do with Harry's wife, were in the last week. And there are thousands of more videos which are nothing to do with Harry's wife, which demonstrates that quite simply, Medway Hospital protest, I am not struggling for content, but perhaps you're struggling. You're struggling with finding some form of intellect. Anita Hall. Ah, those of you that were waiting for this one, here it comes. Stop it, you don't know her. Ah, and you don't know the family. You just want to make money off them. How sick. Well, I am making money in relation to them, but also in relation to other works, but that's not the primary reason why this work is undertaken. Brenda. Harry's wife. Harry's wife. You're obsessed with her. Again! The boring, repetitive chant of you're obsessed. Who cares? Your channel used to be about helping those involved in narcissistic relationships. It still is. The videos are still there. There are videos that are made about other aspects of narcissism, which I've just explained. There's loads of stuff in the Knowledge Vault, which I've given a huge discount on, which helps people involved in narcissistic relationships. But you, Brenda, you are such a clown that your tiny, teeny, tiny pea mind isn't able to get its head around those facts. Now it's the HG Tudor is Obsessed with Harry's Wife show. Hope you find yourself a girlfriend soon so we can hear more about your ways. I already have one. But you, I think your boyfriend lives in a drawer in the nightstand, doesn't he, Brenda? Victor Devonshire. Knock it off. Leave the girl alone. Nasty stuff. No, Victor. She won't be left alone because she doesn't leave other people alone. And while she continues to behave as she does, she will be subject to scrutiny. So there we are. I've saved you the plethora of nonsense that came from Mrs. Dimples as she attempted to spatter her ill-thought-out repetitive comments across the comments. They've been banished into oblivion. And you've been able to have a good old laugh at the other dipsticks that frequent the comments section. Make sure you like this video. Get it shared. Share it in some sugar places. Get them wound up. They deserve it. I'm H.G. Tudor. Thank you for listening.